Hello, welcome to Sweetcast. This is Clint. Uh, just a reminder, if you're interested in following me on Twitter, I am at CastSweet. I'd love to talk to you there. I'd much rather have uh, fun people and cool people in my timeline uh, than uh, some of the others that are on there. So please uh, follow me. I, I want to spend some time on this video talking about Spider-Man and more specifically how Marvel Comics plans to reach out to new readers. And uh, spoiler alert, they don't. So this is an issue for me that I think is uh, really important. It has been important to me for quite a while, and that is how do you get new readers into comics uh, so that you're supporting the medium and uh, the medium doesn't die. I love comics. Uh, I got into comics later in life, relatively speaking. I was uh, a man. Uh, I was a younger man, uh, but I was a man. I was, I, th I think, like 20 years old when I started reading comics uh, seriously. And for me, there's a lot of really great things about comics that you don't get in other mediums. Uh, yeah, some things can transfer over, but not everything. Comics are a unique medium. So I think I had been thinking about things a little backward. I always thought that uh, Marvel liked making movies and that that would sort of feed people in to getting interested in reading comics and getting more of the source material and just there's so much more of it to read than you're seeing in in films uh that was naive of me uh the truth is that marvel's much more interested in their film franchise because they can make a ton of money and for comics it almost seems like it's just this little niche market that they don't really care all that much about uh, it, it's really, it really is strange, but it seems to be the truth to me. So I have not seen Into the Spider-Verse yet. I wanted to take my kids to it uh, because it's rated PG. It's animated. Uh, it looked fun to me. I honestly haven't been looking at reviews for it. I really want to like it. Uh, don't ruin it for me. Uh, but I want to take my kids. I want it to be good. This is a great example of how you can get a younger audience into superhero films, especially because it seems like there are more and more uh, superhero films that are becoming more adult. They're more aimed for adults. Uh, and while, you know, that's nice, I like stuff that's, that's for me, uh, I also want there to be stuff for my kids or stuff that we can all go watch together and I'm not worried about it being a little too scary or, uh, you know, a little too violent or whatever it might be. And so I'm glad that uh, that this movie exists. I just I hope it's good. Uh, so Into the Spider Verse is doing well. It topped the topped the box office, uh, earning 12.6 million on Friday, and on track to finish the weekend with a 35.5 million opening. So it started off with a 90 million dollar budget. So they're already over a third of the way there, and uh, it's expected to make a lot more money as especially uh, kids are out of school during the Christmas break and probably a lot of them are going to be going to the theaters and this is of course going to be one of the options for them uh when they're they're watching movies so needless to say spider-verse financially looks like it's doing well now what do you do Let, let's let's just take a step back for a minute let's say that i'm a father i which i am i've got three kids uh, i take my kids i go watch the spider-verse and my kids are super jazzed about it let's say that my girls are uh you know into the the Gwen Stacy spider Gwen or heck just spider-man himself and my son's into spider-man and maybe some of the other more obscure ones or spider-men that are in the spider-verse or whatever it might be uh, it has sparked an interest in them and uh, they like it and they think dad I want I want more and I think you know what as a father I would love to go buy my children some comic books so that they can uh, sort of feed this uh, curiosity and uh, and this interest in a character that they all enjoyed. So the thir first thing I might do as a dad is go to Google and Google All Ages Spider-Man comic. Now I'm gonna show you the first thing that came up and this was an article published in 2016, but just to show you if I scroll down, there's gonna be like a Wikipedia page, uh, after Wikipedia page, after eBay page, uh, with Bronze Age comics. Here's one, 16 All Age comics for the ages. Okay, so there, there are some lists, uh, it feels really weird to me though that one of the top things that i'm not seeing is marvel comics website marvel comics is not positioned here we finally go marvel comics and this is actually marvel age spider-man 2004 so this is not uh all ages spider-man this is basic stuff this is how you're going to capture new customers that are interested in your product uh to be able to get them where they're going to be which is 
in today's day and age, a, a, you know, a dad that has kids that are might be interested in comics, uh, that dad himself might not be into comics. He's not going to go to a comic book store and uh, talk to you know his local comic book store. That is something that uh, people that are more familiar and more accustomed to comics uh, will do. I know when I first started reading comics, I didn't go into a comic shop. I uh, got them online. I uh, got them from libraries sometimes, uh, things like that. It was just whatever was comfortable and accessible to me. And it wasn't until later that I felt uh, comfortable enough, and not not much later, but still, uh, but I felt comfortable enough to go into a comic book store and ask questions and uh, yeah, look through books and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So the first article that shows up, comics, best Marvel comics for young readers. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, young readers is a really... Uh, broad term. So the the things that it's going to be telling us is first Ms. Marvel. Okay, and I'm not going to read the whole thing here, but it does say though it tackles incredibly deep issues, it still manages to be kid friendly and silly. Okay, it does tackle deep issues, right? And uh, yeah, I don't I don't see this as a children's book. And, and in fact, in this uh, Comics Alliance article, I'm more seeing a trend that they're aiming kids to the social justice titles. Which look, l- let's see what's next. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Uh, Maybe kids would like that. I don't know. Uh, Would my daughters like this title? I'm not sure. The sales would probably tell me otherwise. What are what's like a good selling children's book? Uh, Unless you know much about comics, it would be really difficult to find. They don't make it easy for you. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. No, no, I do not want to buy any of this for my kids to read uh, because there might be silly things or they pretend like there are silly things. Um, It's just thinly cloaked, and I've gone through this before. Squirrel Girl is just thinly cloaked recital of social justice uh, narratives and their doctrine. Uh, That does not make things good for kids, especially young kids. In fact, they're using, yeah, the word, how it's written, it's not written for little kids. Wow. I mean, this this is so silly to me. People are out of touch with what kids are wanting or what even just reading levels. Spidey. Now, I've not uh, read this one, but I I believe this series is canceled, right? Quick Google search. Yes, sadly, it is over. Okay, well, uh, I don't know how good it was, but it uh, it's not. It, I mean, it's been canceled. So I guess that's, that's the end of it. I'm not going to go be able to buy singles very easily. And so, you know, this essentially identifies the crux of the problem it's spider-man that i'm looking for right uh my kids aren't interested in squirrel girl because squirrel girl girl was not in a movie uh unless i'm gonna be surprised and squirrel girl ends up being in uh into the spider verse we'll see uh hellcat was not in the movie uh gwenpool was not in the movie so it yeah this is this article is absolutely ridiculous honestly as a father if I'm looking at these, like, oh, these might be titles that my kids would be interested in, I I don't believe that one bit. So my search continues. Let's say that I'm uh, pretty into this and I, I really want to figure out this the world of comic books and get my kids into comics. Uh, let's say it's Christmas or something and I want I want to be able to buy them a comic book to stick in their stocking. Um, I might go to marvelcomics.com and you can look at comics and uh, there's the latest comics. Okay, that's nice. There's... Uh, Marvel Unlimited, they're they're uh, you know trying to sell their digital stuff, reading lists, uh, print subscriptions. I might let's check out reading lists in a minute, but first I want to go to characters, featured characters, and I could look at Spider Man, and I'm scrolling down, and now all I have to go off of is uh, just covers, I guess, and there's there's titles. Uh, this looks the artwork here. Maybe this is for kids. Let's look at this Demolition Days, possibly. Now, if I'm looking at it uh, right off the bat, I don't see anything that tells me, is this is this for kids? Uh, because it, it's hard to know. I can scroll down and no other information. This is this is how you look at a website. Uh, this is this is the way that I'm looking at it. <laughs> You're just trying to find something that is kid friendly. This might be a winner. I don't know. Uh, this is all I have to go off of. There's just a synopsis of what's going on. Uh, my other question is, is this actually a comic? Uh, because as you'll see, if I pop over to Amazon, you search for Spider-Man comic for kids and, uh, you're getting stuff here, but these, I'm not sure that these are, com- this is not a comic. I'll tell you that Spider-Man little golden book library. It's not a comic book. It's a little golden book here. This is a hard cover. Let's click on it. Can I look inside? Is that a comic? No, not really. 
This is uh, one of those guides. They have little sections. I don't know. My son has one of these for uh, Pokemon. And yeah, there's like origin stories. There's interesting things about the characters. I know kids like these things, but this is not a comic. Now, this is frustrating to me because this is such an easy fix. Really, honestly, this is easy. Uh, I'm going to go back and just see reading lists before I move on. But the, the reason uh, it bothers me so much is because all you need to do is position your website correctly so that, hey, we have we have a, a movie for kids called Into the Spider-Verse, and a lot of kids are going to watch it, and you know what? They might be interested in a comic book. So how do we point people to that comic book? And your average Joe is going to be looking at the internet. They're going to be looking at your website, uh, stuff like that. Here, this is from the video game. Reading list, uh, Spider-Man Silver Lining. Okay, I clicked on reading list. This is what I get. Okay, I might see uh, Miles Morales. Oh, we recognize that from Spider-Verse. Oh, here's Spider-Verse Heroes. Maybe maybe I'll go there. Maybe that's what I want to see. Now, I can tell you, I read Dan Slott's, I got the trade paperback of the Spider-Verse that he did, and I'll tell you, that's not for kids. It really isn't. I mean, they cover like adult subjects, uh, and it's also not for their reading level. Okay, so if I wasn't a father that was into comics so much, and I'll tell you right now, uh, what I do is I buy my kids other books. I buy graphic novels. Uh, sometimes I'll go in and find, uh, like, we'll, I'll take them to free comic book day, and there will be usually all ages comics there, uh, and, but they're not Marvel comics. I'm going to indie books because they're supplying uh, what I'm looking for. And I know I've been talking about Alterna comics lately, uh, but I do, I really do respect Alterna and what they're doing. Um, if I go to their website and I'm interested in, let's see, I would go to titles and then I have options, single issues or graphic novels. Me personally, I'm going to look for graphic novels first. Okay. All ages right there. I can see that this is an all ages book psycho ko so if i'm interested in that i can go for it let's say my my kids are a little bit older teens oh young adults these books might interest uh young adults i'm gonna go to single issue comics all ages now look at all that big selection i have uh now this could be fun because i could be going and getting a book every month uh, for my kids and supplying the habit and uh, teaching them how to read comics this isn't rocket science this is basic stuff uh the, the thing about comics is, is that, uh, you know, they've used to always have this stigma because they were for kids. It was like lazy reading or, uh, you know, you've heard them all before, all the, all the stigma around it. Uh, but now it's changed. It's, it's just for adults. And not only that, Marvel seems to be narrowing down uh, its target market into adults that are interested in this uh, far left progressive ideology. So I don't really understand <laughs> what they hope to gain there. Uh, it it feels like suicide. And uh, what it would really, honestly, what it says to me is that they're less interested in comic books and sort of growing readership and having people be uh, being loyal, lifelong fans. And they're more interested in uh, getting kids to watch a movie and then selling them merchandise for that movie. Uh, that's that's sort of the the aim for Marvel Comics. Now, I agree that there's, I mean, they're, they probably are making a lot of money that way. Obviously, they're making a lot of money on their movies. Uh, they're probably making a ton of money on uh, toys and merchandise and T-shirts and, uh, you know, just standard books, paperback books. Uh, but they're, they're not, it's not transferring over to comics. And that's because Marvel doesn't care. They're more interested in milking the intellectual property than they are in uh, gaining new readers and supporting the medium of comics. So this is, I mean, I feel strongly enough about this that I want to do something about it. Um, right now I've got, I'm working on the comic downcast. I'm, I've got a lot of things to uh, work out with the creative team. And also I still need to uh, work some things out with the script. Uh, it's moving along, uh, but I'm starting to think that maybe my next project has got to be an all ages book. Not that there aren't all ages books out there published by indie creators, uh, but I do want to uh, put my money where my out, my mouth is and put some attention there because I think it really is important. Uh, we have to be getting new readers. But what do I know? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, uh, what 
what would you suggest for a father in this position uh, that's trying to find good comics, uh, specifically Spider-Man comics uh, for kids? And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. And also feel free to share. Every time you retweet one of my videos or share it on Facebook or something like that, uh, it actually really, really helps a lot. So thank you. I will see you next time.